Uh, we're starting to see some of those uh, larger fires break out uh, on the eastern side of the state, or at least in the central part of the state right now. Yeah, that's right, Wayne. And over the last week, we've had a couple new ones. So we are definitely starting to see this become more of a reoccurrence here through parts of the state. And we haven't had any lightning storms to really start these up. So that's something to think about. I want to show you the wildfire map. These icons are large wildfires. That's about 100 acres of timber or 300 acres of grassland there. So the one down to the south, although 50 is still a concern and we'll continue to watch that or that we were just discussing here down in Deschutes County. But this one right here, the Birchie Road fire is about 350 acres. Uh, yeah, 90% contained. We've been discussing this one for a couple days now there, uh, pretty close to Mount Adams. We'll keep an eye on that. The wind has been running out of the west. Not very strong and it's going to become more tame as we go through the next couple of days as temperatures increase, but it's going to continue to be dry. We have no rain in the forecasts in Portland. We're at 10 days now. No measurable rain. The last measurable rain event was July 7th and it wasn't very much. It was only about two hundredths of an inch. Here's where we're at for our total for the month. And we are behind where we should be. Drought concerns still an issue about 91% of the state at some level of drought, either from the lowest to maybe even close to, I think, uh, the highest point. So that is something that we'll continue to monitor. We have updates every week. You can find them at coin.com slash weather. All right, five days above 80 degrees. We'll have more this week. Trust me, temperatures already in the mid 80s. The next couple of days we'll see that and we'll probably see a full week of 80 degrees once again or above. Rain to the north, clouds to the north. We have that northerly flow to northwest flow here in the Pacific Northwest. You can see that right here stronger though. You can see high pressure really taking over that Pacific high pressure that leaves us again dry. Uh, but with that northwest flow, the morning may see some clouds and the late hours may see some clouds as well for areas of the coast but pretty good here in the valley and the rest of the state inland. That means we're going to have a perfect viewing for the comet, especially at night. Big Dipper, find that. Look to the northwest. Should have a good sight of that. If you get outside of Portland a bit, get rid of some of that light. And then early in the morning hours, it's a bit lower, and you'll have to look towards the northeast, but I believe tomorrow morning should be a nice viewing time, too, if you do have that in mind and you want to wake up early. This was a photo sent in from John of Comet Neowise. Uh, we have a podcast. You can learn a little, a little bit more about that on our website. They also did a Weather Kids uh, discussing what comets even are, what they're made of, and how we see them and everything. Uh, so just go to the website, check it out, and uh, it's, it's just great information there. 83 degrees coming out of Portland, 82 at 7 p.m. We'll call about uh, 80 degrees by 8 p.m. This is out of our Subaru Portland camera there on the coin tower. Future cast keeping that northerly flow. Notice in the morning hours, clouds there for the coast. Again, they're going to take off a little bit. They'll scoot a little bit farther away as we warm up the surface. Uh, by the afternoon, we'll have some nice sunshine. Clouds back in there in the morning on Monday. Then again, Tuesday. We probably don't see that much here in the valley till maybe about Wednesday morning. Even trying to pick up maybe on a, some very light precipitation. But we'll, we'll probably stay dry. I do not anticipate any rain as we go through the week. And there's, there's early Friday morning still running out of the northwest. So about Wednesday or so when we start to have more of a marine influence, that should bring our temperatures back to earth a bit. Uh, down to about the lower 80s, but we do have a couple days where we'll be battling probably the lower 90s. Not tomorrow, I'll have mid 80s, but some locations close. Uh, Madras at 90, probably the Dalles over towards Pendleton and Baker City. You'll probably see some 90s too. I have 92 degrees though on Monday, then Tuesday at 90, very close to at least near 90. And then Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, temperatures back down to the lower 80s, Wayne, but this is going to be a warmer week. We'll have to watch Monday, Tuesday. Definitely, you know, the heat, the cars, everything like that. Grab water, find shade. Uh, it's going to be a hot one. Yeah, hot is right. All right, thank you, Joseph. Next, a local.